Saturday morning, February the 2nd, and I'm at my father-in-law's house, and we are going to be making pozole today for the whole family. Um, so, I'm going to get ready to do that. I got all my ingredients back there. And I haven't made pozole in a minute, so I am going to, um, hopefully remember it and it's gonna come out <laughs> just kidding va a salir bien delicioso okay here we go all right so first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need a really big olla also known as a big pot. And you're gonna fill that up with water a little less than halfway. All right, so now you're ready to put your pot onto the stove and turn it all the way to high so that way the water starts boiling quickly. All right, guys, I do want to warn you, this process is long. Making pozole, there are absolutely no shortcuts. So as your water is still on its way to boil, um, we're going to be cleaning the meat. So again, we got espinazo, which is the pork spine bone. And then we have some pierna. And we want to clean that super duper thoroughly. I... Um, I was cooking at my father-in-law's kitchen and he doesn't have a plastic cutting board. I do not put meat onto wood cutting board. I think it's disgusting. So I'm just gonna cut uh, the meat into the sink. So I'm just gonna cut it into little chunks because I didn't have them cut it. I'm gonna take off as much fat as I can. You don't wanna remove all the fat. You wanna leave some but I do want to get rid of the big chunks of um, fat, which are obvious. You can see the white um, parts that are really thick. So you want to remove that. Um, and we're just going to cut those into pieces. And then we're going to rinse. And I'm going to be cleaning the meat with um, fresh lime, fresh lime juice. And I just kind of sprinkle it right on top. And let it sit there for a little while. Um, I don't leave it marinating or anything because literally the lime is used to like disinfect and clean. Now, I don't know if it's true or not, but that's the way we've done it forever. And I really truly feel that it does clean the meat. So you want to be clean. You want to be really, really, really thorough with this part. So take your time. Again, this is going to be a, a process for sure. I forgot to mention, so before I started the, uh, boiling the water, I did put a bunch of salt in there. Enough salt, you know, your preference, however you want it. To me, the salt was enough to like taste like the ocean, you know, <laughs> salt water. So I put enough salt in there and then it also kind of speeds up the boiling process. And so now it's time to put in the meat. I want the meat to cook first, and then I'll be pouring in the hominy after. In the meantime, all that meat that I was cutting up in the sink, it's time to disinfect. Seriously, you guys, if you're cooking with meat, you have to be super clean. Like, it's just gross to have meat juices like everywhere so I'm gonna go ahead and now that the meat is boiling I have free time to go back and clean this sink and uh, disinfect it plus it's my father-in-law's house hello I cannot be a cochina in somebody else's house like that's gross okay so meat has been cooking for about 20 minutes or so, and now I'm gonna go ahead and put in a whole onion. A 
Okay, so now it's time to open both cans of Hominy. Juanita is my favorite brand, um, and it's the only one my mom's ever used. However, this is not my mom's recipe, but um, it's just the best Hominy. So this is what I recommend. Um, and now we're going to rinse it, drain both cans of, of Hominy, and rinse it really thoroughly. So just for easy transfer purposes, I put the hominy back into the cans, uh, but they're nice and rinsed now. Um, so now we're just gonna pour it into the pot. I'm gonna place a whole head of garlic. I'm just gonna cut it in half with the, um, how do you, the cascara on? <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Uh, with the cascara on, I'm just gonna throw it in there. Okay guys, so again, this isn't my traditional pozole that I grew up with. Um, this pozole recipe I got from one of my cousin's aunts on her marriage side, and I just fell in love with it. This is the typical classic pozole that you're gonna find at most restaurants every Saturday and Sunday. It's red, and these chile guajillos are what gives it all the flavor and all the difference. Um, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to Empty out the seeds from these chiles, and then as we do that, we are then going to fry them and then set them aside. I use these cans, so throughout the whole process, I love using the cans because I, I get to pour them in there, pour the chili pods in the cans, fill it up with hot water because the, the chiles do have to soak, and then we blend. So now the chiles are super soft. Use hot water. Um, and now that they're super soft, we're gonna put them in the blender and blend them away. Now I'm making this easy for you guys. Clearly we're going through it fast. But as of now in this process, the meat and the hominy have been cooking for um, about 45 um, to an hour now and now i'm going to go ahead and pour in the chili see we had to wait for the chili pods to really soak so that was a good like 25 minute process um so now after an hour of the pozole cooking this is the time where we pour in our chili you need a colander now my father-in-law had a very very fine colander so i was in there like just moving the chile to get through for like 20 minutes and I just kept pouring in water and trying to get it all in there because you don't want chunks of chile into your pozole. You just want to strain it. Look at that hot mama. Baby. Baby. You're beautiful. I was, just, I was just talking to about how sexy Dino was and then you stepped right in front of her. <laughs> Scary. Why is the water foggy? It's hot. Oh. 
This is the only way I get Erica to help me to cook because she just absolutely can't help me with anything. So now we have her cutting the limes and um, we're gonna cut some radishes, some cabbage, and then we're ready to eat. I hope you guys um, like this pozole recipe. It's my first time I actually <laughs> film a recipe so I know it's not gonna be Super detailed but by all means you guys write in the comments below if there's any stuff that I missed that you need to know um, I will share it I will write you all personally don't even trip I got you Panda would really like this broth because it's like more watery. <laughs> Too bad she's on the keto. <clears throat> We're supposed to be on the keto, but we give ourselves a chin <laughs> <laughs>